What's up, guys? Welcome back. I think this is episode six of Lunch Money. While Wall Street's trying to get rich, the rest of us just trying to get our lunch money right, coming to you every day at noon, noonish, before noon, afternoon, right at noon, five o'clock, whenever we get our shit together, that's fine. I've got the beautiful Polina Marinova with us today. She looks like the female Steve Jobs with the <laughs> turtleneck going. We are all good. Hi. How was your weekend? She had to deal with me, so it wasn't so great. All right, let's jump into the first topic today, tiger virus. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a tiger at the Bronx Zoo in New York City has tested positive for COVID-19. I know what your question is going to be, so just go ahead and ask it. Well, I just want to know, are we in the simulation? Like, That's first, let, first let's release a absolute banger on Netflix. 14 days in a row, number one on Netflix, Tiger King. You hit us with the Carol Baskin intro last week. And now all of a sudden we have a tiger at the Bronx Zoo getting coronavirus, which previously I think people thought that animals couldn't get coronavirus. Right. They thought that, but there have been pets that have tested positive, but they don't think that the pet can, um, like, what is it called? Spread it to the human? Okay, so there's not an uh, <laughs> animal to human infection, but maybe humans can infect animals. I don't know how that works. Is it a one-way highway or a two-way highway? I guess it's a one-way. One-way highway? What I want to know is how the hell are the animals getting tested before the humans? That is the question I thought you were going to ask, and I have an answer for you. So you, people, you have an alleged answer. Go ahead. So, like you, many people on Twitter were asking that same question. So they asked the veterinarian at the Bronx Zoo, and he said the COVID-19 testing that was performed on the tiger was performed in a veterinary school lab. I couldn't even say veterinary. And is not the same test as is used for people. You cannot send human samples to the vet lab and you cannot send animal tests to the human lab. So there is no competition for testing between these very different situations. Allegedly. All I'm going to say is that humans are animals. Tigers are animals. You're telling me that there's no difference. They're testing blood, right? Let's move on. Apple Maps. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just trying to bring up facts here for you guys every day around noon. Go ahead. Apple masks. So Apple is doing a very cool thing. They're designing and producing face shields for medical workers. Uh, they're aiming to produce 1 million face shields per week. I think they've already done 20 million maybe. Um, no. So uh, what does that mean? What does it fact mean? check? Can we have a TO fact check? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Actually, I like this fact check. Uh, 20 million medical masks are like the ones that go around your but, ears and over your mouth. Oh, okay. No, that's what they got. Uh, they sourced it through their supply chain. How the hell no one else can find masks, but Apple got 20 million of them. Whole nother question, but they got 20 million of those masks, bring them to the U S they're going to distribute them. Uh, I don't really understand how, but they're going to give them out to people. But now what they're doing is they're creating face shields. Right. So if you ever see a picture of a nurse, they have the masks on, right. That look kind of like a normal medical thing. And they got a face shield, like a welder, but it's all clear what they're actually manufacturing not sourcing, but manufacturing oh, no. is the face shield. See, this I'm even teaching her things. But can I say uh, my honest opinion? Do you have to. Super disappointed about what they look like. Like Tim Cook showed one in the uh, video he did yesterday, and it looks just like a little plastic thing that you or I can make in our backyard. Like I was expecting, like super sleek, maybe with a little Apple logo, like some light no, up eyeballs no. or something. A, this is not a time to be like promoting Apple. This is for. Agreed. Right. But they're going to make a million of them a week. Right. Which is a lot. Yeah. Are you making a million in your backyard? I'm not. Exactly. But I just was, I was just shocked as to how uh, flimsy is the wrong word, but they were just very basic. But I guess that's all that is actually yeah. needed, right? It's literally mm -hmm. just a piece of plastic that shields your face. It's got like a little strap. You can go ahead and you can move it back and forth. So it's pretty cool to see Apple doing this because it overlays with a lot of the other companies that are making ventilators or yeah. producing masks, etc. cetera. Yeah. Uh, do you think that mash, mask, Mask, mash, mask, 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 fashion. <laughs> Is mask fashion going to be a thing after this? I think so. I'm seeing a lot of really trendy scarves. I'm seeing a lot of like trendy. Um, what did I see? This girl had, um, what was it? It had like a message on her face mask. Like stay the fuck at home. Something like that, but <laughs> trendier. Um, Would you wear a mask with your name on it? Like across? No, I don't want people knowing who I am. Okay. Would you wear one with like a brand, like a Nike check on it? No. No, but you would wear like a Nike headband with a Nike check yeah. on it. So why not a mask? Well, maybe if it's not like a mask, it was like in the corner. Okay. Would you wear one that uh, said like words across it that wasn't a brand? 
Maybe if I'm feeling like particularly bold. Bold? Yeah. Would you wear one with like a, um, I don't know, uh, me personally, like a, a Burberry, like a <laughs> Burberry across? I don't even know what Burberry Wait, is. Hold on, hold on. Let's pause for one second. What? What those shoes with the. Oh, yeah. All right. So let, we'll tell you a quick joke, real quick. A little time out from lunch money. Sometimes you get around the cooler, you don't just eat, you actually have to get some jokes in. Uh, actually, actually, no. Make them guess what this is. No, I'm just going to tell them a story. So one time, Plana <laughs> asked me about uh, uh, a company with the red bottoms on or whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know the Louis Vuitton. And she was like, what'd you say? And I said, Louis Vuitton. And she goes, what do you know about that? I was like, oh, that's my buddy Louis from Jersey City. Because I thought it was L O U I E. And then baton, like B-A-T-T-O-N. I didn't realize it was spelled completely different. So just in case anybody is wondering, red bottom shoes are not Louis Vuitton in Jersey City. It's something else. So Apple's making a million masks. Hey, okay. uh, they're actually shields. Let's we actually have we have to fact check the uh, topics that we sent to Joe because it's not Apple masks. It's Apple shield. But go ahead to small business. Wait, are we on small business? Yes, the third one. Oh, okay. Three comes after two. Yeah. So... So, okay, so it looks like a lot of small business owners are worried that they're not the, the pot of money that the government has allocated for small business loans will run out before the business owners are able to get any of it. Yeah, well, th there's two problems here. One is it's very unclear who's eligible for the loans and who's not. There's about $350 billion earmarked in the stimulus uh, for small businesses. Um, and then not only is it who can get it and who can't, but then there's incredible obstacles to actually getting it. So if you look at, first of all, who's eligible, who's not, there's multiple types of stimulus, everything from the payroll protection program, right. PPP, which is not to be confused with PPE, which you guys learned about last week, but PPP is a loan program where basically you can continue to pay your payroll. If you keep people employed for a certain period of time, that loan will yeah. be forgiven over time. The challenge to that is on Friday, those loans opened up. And so people can start yeah. to apply for them, but there's there's two se three separate groups. One is banks say, hey, come right in. We'll help you apply for these loans and actually get you the loan. That's great. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Bank of America, others are in that category. There's a second group that says, we are only going to help clients that meet a certain threshold. So if you've never borrowed from us exactly. before. I think Bank of America is one of those. Oh, okay. Bank of America, <laughs> you're going into the other category. You basically, if you're not already like a, a really deep customer with us, you don't get access. Right. But even though, I mean, there's examples of people who have been deep customers with the bank and, and still have then, trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Because they never borrowed before. So they may have big oh, bank I accounts, see, see. right. And big deposit amounts, but they don't actually have uh, borrowed before. Well, and therefore really they're not sucks. eligible. Well, if you think that's bad, let me teach you about the third category, which are the real bad people, which are the banks who literally are just saying, this is too confusing. We're not going to participate. So literally well, least, you, we're not going to give you, we're not even going to help. Don't even send us anything. At least they're not doing harm. Are they? Well, if you're a customer of the bank and you need a well, loan, aren't they harming you? I don't know. I think that it's their absolute duty to help the small businesses get the loans. Whatever you possibly can do, you should go and do. So let me ask you, what happens if that three hundred fifty billion runs out before some people have had a chance to even? Well, it's definitely going to run out at some point, right? Do you think they'll print more? They're going to have to. The two trillion dollar stimulus package, I don't think, will ever be enough. So they're going to have to come up with more. Hmm. Right. So it'll be future stimulus packages on top of it. But we'll see how that works. But unfortunately, while the small businesses are having trouble doing this, obviously, we saw the unemployment rate uh, skyrocket last week. Three point two eight million two weeks ago, six point six million unemployed this past week it's for a total of 10 million new claims in the last two weeks. I don't see that slowing down any time, given we're all sitting at home, which leads us to the fourth topic, four comes after three, which is mental health. What's happening there? So you know how you know have been worried about people's mental health since the beginning of this virus. That's I'm all. Pl worried. Plana has called this out from day one. Well, I like just Nostradamus, worried. right? That's the person who sees the future. Nostradamus, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> um, I've just been worried because, like, I feel like we're already the United States already is in the middle of like a loneliness epidemic. People are already lonely, and unlike nine eleven and Katrina and all these like horrible tragedies we've been through, at least people can come together and support each other. With this, it's such a weird thing because like you can't even be in the same room with the people you love. So got to okay. zoom with them. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, yeah, but it's just like humans are social animals and they need that. If, if we're animals, by the way, just going back, we should be able to use the animal test for coronavirus, but go ahead. Oh my God, I'm going to murder you. Okay. So if I die, I'll be on camera. <laughs> so, 
Um, suicide hotlines across the country are reporting new increases in the number of calls they're fielding since the beginning. Of so the basically one of the concerns here is during economic downturns, there's a, a very real impact on life because suicide rates go up, alcohol and drug abuse yeah. goes up, homelessness goes up. There's all of these components that uh, get added into it. And so if you look at like, here's the numbers that I ran last week, um, which really scared the shit out of me, is if you look at the unemployment numbers and just say 0.1% of the population end up committing suicide, you very quickly get to 10,000 people out of the 10 million. Right. I think that's 0.1%. I don't know. If I'm wrong, you guys will correct me. But 10,000 people, mm -hmm. that's more than have died from coronavirus already. Now, but you can't. Right? Well, can you? No. Why not? Because you can't. The coronavirus number will continue to increase, but if the unemployment number continues to increase, it's right? It's just two different battles that the U.S. is fighting right now, and it's like you can't pick and choose one. I think you kind of have to undertake both. Of course. It's not a black and white solution because right. the problem is not black and white. You can't right. say, hey, we have to solve the health crisis and ignore the economic. Exactly. You also can't say we're going to solve the economic crisis and ignore the health. There's some kind of middle ground. Yeah. Right. So unfortunately, mental health concerns, uh, Nostradamus over here or the female Steve Jobs with the turtleneck has been dead on in the sense of uh, we're seeing data points that would suggest that mental health is deteriorating. Um, they're individual data points right now, but obviously something to continue to uh, pay attention to over time. Totally. Yeah. All right. On a lighter note, Quibi, this is going to be hilarious because what are these people doing? Go ahead. Okay. So Quibi launched today. The company has raised more than $1.75 billion with no product on the market. Nothing. They were just like, trust us. We're... Well, they have a team. The team is very impressive. The team is very impressive. Yeah. Jeffrey Katzenberg and... Uh, Who's Jeffrey Katzenberg? He's a longtime Hollywood legend. All right. Do you think he has a nipple ring like uh, Cuomo? I do not think no. so. No, okay, just wondering. And while we're on the nipple gate, uh, I saw a couple of you guys talking about it in the comments. Nipple gate, just want to make sure. And former uh, eBay and HP CEO Meg Whitman mm -hmm. is his partner. So it's a very interesting Silicon Valley, Hollywood, like mixture. Marriage. Yeah. Okay. They're not actually married, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> and so they created Quibi. Quibi is basically short or combined words of quick bites. So their whole thesis mm -hmm. is what? Uh, to produce short form, high quality video content for millennials. The problem is, and I've been very oh, vocal. She about gave this. us the finger. <laughs> I've been very vocal about this is that I am 28 years old. I fit right smack in the middle of their target demographic. And I do not think that I would pay $4.99 without, or what is it? $4.99 with ads and $7.99 without ads. I think that's accurate. Double check it. Um, Fact check for their content to watch videos on my phone because I don't watch the Facebook uh, original content. I don't watch the Snapchat original content. I don't watch the Instagram, whatever, original content. So, and those are free. Why on earth would I pay for this? Is it just because of the quality? Yeah, but the whole idea, so part of their argument is that it's like 10 minute or less uh, snippets of video that are super highly produced. And uh, it's pretty funny because in some of their uh, marketing material, it's like you can even hit pause and come back later. And people no, are like, no, 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 what okay, is it? Go on. It's something like, that. I don't know. <laughs> fact check, fact check, fact check. <laughs> the long story short is it's super short video. Uh, 10 minutes or less, and they want it to be episodic in nature, and it's going to be all original content, and it's kind of built for the whole idea that like everything that goes on your phone, you can sit and watch it there in short um, kind of bursts. The problem is, I think you and I both agree on this, unlikely to succeed simply because uh, the original content that's being produced in other places and other mediums in traditional format, whether it's Netflix, HBO, whatever, that's actually the stuff people are watching. It's super saturated already. And to raise that kind of money, like what kind of exit are you hoping for? Well, the venture capitalists are hoping for at least 10 plus billion dollar exit. If you've already raised 1.75 billion, that's just to get the investors 10x their money. Yeah. Te technically 17 billion. Yeah. Right. Because 1.75. I'm not a math guy. I'm not a math guy, but I I'm just I think what you were trying to say is like they have these short uh videos and they say that millennials have really short attention spans so they're going to do episodes of 10 minutes to watch an entire movie so an entire movie could take you 17 episodes to watch but my point is alternatively you could just press pause on your movie and come back to it later you don't i don't need you to make these 10 minutes because that's my attention span i think you just woman explained to me
You said, I'm glad I did. Nice. Good job. <laughs> All right. But one thing I will do is I'll play uh, with Devil's Advocate, right? That's the person on the opposite side. Go around the other side of the table. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, which is Masterclass, which you recently got. She's now a Masterclass customer. This is not uh, an ad. Not, not an ad. No ads <laughs> uh, yet. Uh, but call us if you need. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you just try to sell ads? <laughs> always be selling or always be closing. ABC, always be closing. Oh, my uh, God. But if you flip around the other side and you're the Devil's Advocate, uh, Masterclass has five to like eight minute clips, right? And you watch them kind of episodically and learn from somebody. Right. But Jeff, call me, man. If you need help on the marketing side, I got no, you. But, but that's the thing. A lot of times I'll be in the middle of a 10 minute episode and I'll press pause and come back to it. <laughs> like, where, where do you have to go in the 10 minute episode? Well, right now, nowhere because we're all here. But normally if I have important business to do outside of this apartment, I would do that. Planet got mad at me yesterday because I ate too much food, just so you guys all know. I wanted to, I wanted to air my grievances because, while we can. Because, oh my God, I think I'm like a trash can. Yeah. The, 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 by the way, there's just one rule. Before we get into the lunch money winner from Friday, there's one rule in our house. If you buy the food and bring it in, it's my responsibility to eat it. So if you don't want it to eat, your, don't bring it in the house. It is not your duty. Also, shout, responsibility. Out, shout out to our friend Dustin who said this. He said, if you bring something unhealthy in the house, I will eat it. Yeah, like it, it's, it's my... it, no, it, it's like a uh, animalistic uh, like function. Like you have to eat it. Like, and you don't just eat it; you inhale it as fast as possible. I know what you're trying to do, and you're trying to link this back to the tiger, but it's not gonna. <laughs> I'm just here for you guys for the content. On Friday, we said anybody who shared the URL to the video could get some free lunch money. Remember, while Wall Street's trying to get rich, the rest of us just trying to get lunch money right. Uh, many of you, I actually was surprised. How many people? Oh, there is the winner, Dylan Lear, who hit us. Uh, oh, wait, oh, that's, that's the his, that's the payment. That's not his, his actual uh, tweet. His tweet. his tweet said, at A Pompliano is on fire. You get points for saying nice things about me. Two fire emojis with the dollar. And he said, it would behoove, inside joke for you guys, everyone to subscribe to his channel, get your lunch money right, and find out how much Plano Marinova loves Oreo cookies he and Bitcoin. Oreo. I mean, come on. He had every inside joke in there. He used the hashtag. He had emojis. And he shared the URL. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we Venmo winner, Dylan. Winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken okay. dinner. You ever heard that before? I know that, but I'm just like, why are you using that? Because he won. He's a winner, right? right so then, but, but rather than lunch money, he got a chicken dinner because it got a hundred bucks. Uh, it's okay. We'll, 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 but we'll we're get not in fourth grade anymore. Some of us still are uh, mentally. <laughs> he's not wrong guys he's not wrong okay, so <laughs> when we uh venmo this to dylan dylan's actually stuck right now in uh india so happy to help him out he uh, keeps watching the show so we appreciate that uh and we will uh continue at random episodes to give out some free lunch money so keep watching and uh, hopefully you'll be a winner soon uh any closing words miss steve jobs Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> you like, do you like that? I like that. By the way, it's way better than when she hit us last week with hello, you cats. It's not that. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to end it with this one last thing. I'm going to yeah, wear that the, shirt. Be, the best tweet I saw yesterday uh, when the Bronx Zoo, uh, the tiger got infected with the coronavirus, uh, at Ramp Capital on Twitter, uh, tweeted the article, and he said, it was Carol fucking Baskin. And <laughs> put in parentheses. I think I'm now deaf. <laughs> Joe Exotic voice. And I thought that was the best tweet at all. Because she she killed her husband. She killed the tigers. Do okay, not be making claims like that. You don't know. Allegedly. That. Allegedly she did. All right, guys. Listen, we appreciate you guys watching. While while she's trying to get rich, the rest of us just trying to get our lunch money right every day, noon-ish. Why-ish? Because we get... We don't have our shit together. I almost said did, but we don't have our shit together. I do. May come out before noon, afternoon, right at noon, or at 5 p.m. Shout out to Joe, who has helped us record these, put Ooh, all these nice go. graphics up, make us look super legit while we sit in our kitchen with all of our great tasting food behind us. And I have the beautiful Polina Marinova with us. Go subscribe to readtheprofile.com. I'm basically like a walking ad at this point. Wow, like I can just read real fast. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.